Hi, it's Sean D'Souza from Psychotactics.com, and today we're going to look at headlines, the third part in the headline series. In the first part, we looked at how headlines try to solve too many problems. Then we looked at subheadlines and how important they are. And now we're going to look at graphics and how graphics clutter the headline. So how do they clutter the headline? Well, when you look at any web page, what you're looking at is a blank canvas. And what you want to do is just overlay the canvas with your headline and with your text. Not confuse the reader in any way. You just want to overlay the text. So how do you confuse the reader? Well, some of us put color. So when you start to put color and you put your text on color, now your text has to compete with that color. It doesn't stand out by itself. It has to compete with that color. So when we start to look at two different things, one with color and one without color, you'll start to see that the one without color stands out so much more than the one with color. And the reason for that is just there's no competition. Even as we start to look at headline after headline after headline, you'll recognize very quickly that the one without any competition just stands out. Even when you're looking at it in the small size, you can see that it's just standing out. Even as we go really tiny, you can start to read that text or you can start to see the difference between the two. Of course, when we zoom it up, it's even clearer. So let's look at them side by side. And when we look at them side by side, you can start to see the clutter. It's there. It's visually in front of you. You can see the clutter. What happens if we look at a graphic like this? And, and you'll start to see automatically there's some kind of competition. Always there's competition at the back. And that's very hard to handle. It's very hard to read. When we start to look at the text at the bottom as well, again, we start to see this competition. You'll see where that the, the languages, that's in Dutch, by the way, you'll start to see there's the graphic at the back, and that's all competing. So let's look at examples where there's no competition. When you look at the page in apple.com, you'll start to see everywhere you look, there's no competition. The text is separate from the graphics. No matter where you look, whether you look at it small or big, and see, we can zoom out a lot and it's still very clear. We can zoom in and we can see that again, it's segregated, it's separate from each other. When we go onto a very busy page, like this page, you'll start to see again, the text is separate from the graphics. Especially on busy pages, this is very important because you wanna make sure that the text always stands out, it's legible, it's readable, and especially so in headlines. I mean, this is a products page, but every single one of those products represent a kind of headline, even on the packaging. When we go to moldskin.com, you'll see the same thing. Now, this is an example of someone who's just gone on a holiday, on a vacation, and you'll start to see how the text remains separate from the graphics, just because it's easier. It's easier to read, and that's what you really want a headline to do. Let's look at beforeandaftermagazine.com, and you'll start to see how nice and clean those headlines are. Just look at them. They just stand out. They stand out and they say, hey, I'm a headline. Look at me. See how bold I am. And look at the subheadlines. And it says, hey, I'm a subheadline. So you can have graphics, no problem. Have loads of graphics if you want. Just don't mix them with the headlines. Keep the headlines separate. Let's summarize now. And we'll summarize the entire series. In headline confusion, we covered three parts trying to solve too many problems, giving subheadlines the day off. We want to make subheadlines really work. And finally, graphics. Even colors can clutter the subheadline and the headline and all the text. So what are you going to do next? Go to psychotactics.com and check out why headlines fail. Also sign up for the newsletter because you get really good stuff. So check out why headline fails. It's free and it's really good and you'll find out for yourself. That's me from psychotactics.com. That's Sean D'Souza, and I'm signing off. You can find me on Twitter, or you can find me on Facebook, or at psychotactics.com. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.